What's up, YouTube? How are we doing? Sorry, I just turned Narnia down, mate. Just living it up. Um, yeah, hope you've all had an incredible week. Hope you're having an incredible weekend. So, you know, as usual, new week, new YouTube video. Um, today, I thought I'd drop some real sauce. Uh, a lot of you have been asking for, like, you know, getting involved in entries, um, how to put everything together, you know, all that jazz. So I thought, you know, uh, take the time out, do like a little breakdown and a recap on, you know, on the source, on getting in. Um, obviously, please understand, you know, these videos probably shouldn't be free, um, but obviously we want to help you guys out. Um, so we're, we are dropping ahead of a lot of source on there. So yeah, you know, make sure you're checking that out. Um, obviously, you know, like, like the title says, you know, um, it is the source. So make sure you're listening, make sure you're paying attention. Um, very reluctant to drop this, but I decided, oh, you know what, it's Christmas, isn't it? So, all festive and that. Um, yeah, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it can help some of you um, going into the new year. There is absolutely tons of content already on my profile and on the Phantom YouTube that probably, again, shouldn't be free. Um, but, you know, we, we, like to, we like to give out and we like to show you guys, you know, what it's all about. Um, so, yeah, just take your time. Um, just want to say as well, big thank you to all of you that applied for the giveaway. I dropped the names on my Instagram yesterday. Um, so I know it's a little bit of a day early, but there were so many people on there and I tried to get it done. I've got a lot to do today. Um, so yeah, I'm making this video at like 7 in the morning. Um, 7 in the morning? 7.30 in the morning. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get it done with. Um, like you all know, I am doing another giveaway. When I hit 10k subscribers on YouTube, I'm going to give away a couple of funded accounts. Probably a hundred k ones as well. So, um, yeah, it's like if you can share these videos around, if you can, you know, like subscribe, I try and reward you guys best I can. Along with the fact that there is a bunch of source on here that will truly help you and propel you on your journey if you put the time in, if you put the work in, if you put the effort in, um, and if you understand that you know, it takes time, man. It doesn't just happen like that. Um, it, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes sacrifice, it takes failure. You know, it's all part of being a trader. It's all part of really anything you do in life. You think about times you fail, even if it's a baby. You know, you try and walk, you fall over, you get back up, fall over, you get back up. You don't stop. So why with trading, when you fail, you hit stop loss, you lose, you blow an account, you're like, oh, it's not for me. Why with any job, whatever it is you're trying to do, why do you give up? Because you've got this stupid little thing in your brain telling you that you can't do it and you, you start to believe it or you've got, you've got the wrong people around you. You've got the wrong circle telling you, nah, mate, that's a scam or no, nah, that won't work or now nah, this, now nah, that. And if you go into it, in that mindset, you just create a problem, you'll never get out of it. Nine times out of 10, most of the problems that we think of and create in our head never actually happen. Like think of all the stuff you've worried about, think of all the stuff you've panicked about or stressed over or not slept about. How much of that's actually played out in the way you thought it was gonna play out? And how much of it, when it happened, were you like, oh, is that it? I've just wasted three, three weeks of my life stressing for nothing. Like honestly, the, the, the mind's powerful. And obviously I dropped a video recently on books, my lowest reach video I've ever done, um, I kind of knew it would, and I'm kind of doing. I'm doing a little bit of a test here. I kind of knew it would be um, one. The title, people like books. Pfft. I even had some people say like books. What are you posting about books for? They're not important. You're a retard, mate. If that's what you think, sorry, but you are. If you're not reading, if you're not trying to grow your mindset, if you're not watching podcasts, if you're not watching entrepreneurs, if you're not studying, if you're just sitting there watching Netflix or doing nothing with your life and think you're going to get somewhere, you're an absolute wombat. Like proper wombat. Honestly, I was the same, not to that extent. I never was like books is rubbish, but I was very much like I don't want to read, I don't see the benefit. This year I've read all those books I listed, and I'm telling you what, that was a massive chunk of me getting where I've got. It wasn't just, oh, I learned how to trade. No man. The technicals aren't even all that. <laughs> like you can have the best technicals in the universe. If you're a scaredy cat, if you don't know how to execute, if you're fearful, if you don't believe in your edge, if you're emotional, if you're doing it for money, if you're not if you're not sure whether you're right or wrong, if you have that voice that comes in your head that tells you this isn't right, if you look up to other people and follow what other people do, all those things are gonna smack you in the face on your trading journey, along with so many other things that are gonna test you. They're gonna test your relationship. You need to make sure you have a good partner that's understanding, that backs you, that supports you. You're gonna fail, you're gonna lose money. Like It's part of it, man. It's not just, oh, I know how to trade. It does, no, man, get in the bin, literally in the bin, mate. Open it up, put yourself in it, <laughs> job done. Um, so yeah, obviously, you know, please understand that, you know, anything we're posting, you know, it's not like financial advice. It's not, you're going to be the best trader in the world. It's just, this is how we trade. This is what makes us consistent. 
and this is a methodology you can follow. Um, you don't have to, you can go elsewhere. I literally couldn't care less. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it's down to you. There's enough money in this market for all of us to be eating. So I don't see the point in um, whether you trade EMAs, whether you trade gold and fib zones, or whether you trade, I don't know, upside down on your head patterns. I, d I don't know. But whatever you do, as long as you're consistent in your approach and as long as you're consistent in what you do, you'll be consistent and profitable. But again, shiny object syndrome, looking at someone else, seeing fake things. Ooh, look at me. And the next thing you know, you're in a spiral of shit, mate. You ain't got nowhere. So anyway, I'm going to jump to the video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm in a proper bantery mood today. So next slide is going to get you going. Um, and yeah, just, just have a good one. Before we go, slipper flip come in. Ready? We're going to do it this week. Ah, one more go. Needs work. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Hey, let's jingle bell rock. Um, so yeah, obviously people want sauce, obviously sauce is coming. Um, so a big thing for me today, right, is to kind of figure out how the human brain's working in the sense of you see or hear someone say sauce and everybody runs, right? Um, I think probably a lot of people will run to this video, probably skip the bit of me chatting and they come to the chart, right? Wagwan, if that's what you've done. I see you, big man. I'm on to you. So, in today's video, we're going to have a chat about the real source, but it's not going to be in trade-related forms. If you want the proper trade-related form stuff, I can give you it quick time. You hit a POI, right? You measure the candle, make sure it's an engulfed candle. If it's four pips, just hit market, mate. Chilling. Job done. Living life. Right? I wish I could see some of your faces, man. Because, look, this isn't normally me in the sense of let's do a little bit of a clickbait, but I wanted to do a clickbait video because after doing that book video and realising how many people ignored it and boycotted it because you thought there was no value in it, I reckon you're all here right now waiting for source. Yo, big men. <laughs> the source ain't coming, man. We're going to have a chat. We're going to have a discussion and we're going to figure out why it is that you're all gravitating towards source, 100R, oh my God. Because look, let's face it, you don't need that to survive. You don't need that to leave your full-time job. You don't need that to live an easy, comfortable life, right? You do not need that. I'm not saying you don't, you can't work towards that because hell yeah, man. Like you can and that is very achievable. I know people doing 100R days for fun. It's 100% achievable, right? What I'm trying to say is... The, the, the source that I've already shared, yeah, is more than enough for you to become consistent or to become profitable. But the problem is you watch it once, you go to a live chart and you get your ass slapped about, right? Because you're not putting the time in, you're not putting the effort in, your mindset's in the bin, your psychology is not very good, you're emotional, you're rushing because you want to leave your job, you don't like someone at work like Karen, so you're like, right, I'm going to do this because of Karen. You're not happy probably in your in your current life and you're you're just putting all that pressure in your trading and I tell you honestly please listen it does not work it will not work like you have to have a systematic plan you have to have an edge that you believe in if you don't believe in it I could have sh I could literally show you everything here right already I'm showing you stuff right but this is a markup that I've done I'm actually going to record the trade recap for the community in Phantom today so if you're in Phantom keep your eyes open because I'll be dropping that recap I'll probably drop it tomorrow, but I'll record it today. Um, and today's Sunday, so it'll be Monday. Um, <clears throat> if you're not in Phantom, you know, then check it out. If, you, if you're not bothered, you're not bothered. Like, this is not all come and join. This is just the, this kind of stuff is what gets dropped in, in the Discord. Um, I've shared more than enough. You, you can probably figure it out if you've watched the videos and studied them. If you haven't, check it out. Right, what I want to talk about is... This constant source in in trading, right? Everybody's always like, oh, when's the next source? Or, oh, he's got this. Or, oh, they've got that. Or, oh, I need to go there. I need to do this. Look, listen, I've been there, right? I have been and I have tried to get source. I have tried for four years to find this secret way of making money, right? Look, the, the it's, reality is, right, if it was that easy, everyone would be a multimillionaire or a billionaire. Same as all this NFT stuff at the moment. If it was that easy to buy an NFT for a tenner and make 10 million, we'd all be chilling, right? It's about education. Literally, it's what it comes down to. It's education, it's understanding, and it's understanding what it is that you're actually doing. 
any edge works if you consistently implement it. The problem is, you take a hit, you cry. You take another hit, oh my God, my life's over. You take another hit, oh, I can't do this, this isn't good. And all these emotions and thoughts are just running through your head like over and over again, right? If you actually thought about it and went, right, you know what? What am I going to do? Right, I know, I'm going to focus on um, actually implementing an edge that I've got data on, that I've tested, that I've, um, you know, extracted data on for the last couple of months that I believe in, that I've traded in a live market. Because again, a lot of people go into back testing only, they bar replay, they make 4 million R and they go into a live market and they lose 4 million R and they're like, oh my God, what happened? And it's because you don't have live market experience. You don't have emotions when you back test. Even with a demo, you don't really have emotions. You don't have the the fear of, oh, if it's wrong, I actually lose physical value of capital, right? You don't have any of them things. So how do you practice that? Small live account, put some funds in, and slowly, slowly trade it and build it up, right? It's like anything. It takes time. Any Olympian, any athlete, any footballer, any sportsman, any anything. They didn't just turn up, well, go on, I'm a footballer. They put effort in, they put time in, right? It's the same in trading. You guys have got to understand that all these clickbait videos that you, you click, literally like this one that you've just gone and hit, right? And you're probably like, oh, this guy's now a knobhead. Do me a favor, don't ruin it in the comments for other people. I need people, I'm trying to do a little kind of bit of research here. I need people to click this, I need people to watch it so I can then compare it to the one that actually added more value, right? And then I can compare it and go, right, so people just base their decisions off of what it looks like. And that's quite bad, that's quite sad. So you base it on a title and you base it off an image rather than actual value. Okay, and I notice it with other podcasts, other podcasts that I watch. Those of you who know me, I'm a huge fan of Stephen Bartlett. Some of his podcasts, depending on how they're titled, they might not have the best views, but they're the most informative, incredible podcasts, and they have to be pumped by everyone for people to click it. The ones that come along with people that you think these will be sick, they're not actually that great. Not that they're not great, but they're not as good. They're not as informative, right? And it's because you, your mind's just taking you towards that materialistic thing. Is oh, this person's great. It's just like trading. Oh, money. Woo. And you're just following money rather than going, maybe that video about books was actually decent. Maybe I need to listen to that. Maybe that video about flipping a coin, I need to listen to that. My best performing videos have all been ones that I've put a chart on and that I've said I'm dropping source. Every other video that hasn't had a chart involved in it hasn't done very well. Why? Because all you lot want is source. You think you need new source and you think something new's coming out. If you've been in Phantom for the last six months, you'll notice that all of the recaps that we drop, if, you, if you're understanding what's happening, they're all the same thing. It's always the same, every single time, right? Why is that? Because we have an edge that we've tested, we've got data on, that we believe in, and that we're following. If it was different every week and there was new source every week, then we wouldn't be very consistent because we'd be trying new things every week. Any consistent trader is following the same process. Yes, you have to adapt and react in the market sometimes. Yes, you have to use a bit of intuition and things that you've just seen over and over again and you go, you know what, I've seen this happen hundreds of times. I'm, I'm called cool to put risk on it. But nine times out of 10, it's, it's following a plan and it's, it's literally the same thing. It's the same sequence of events. It only gets that way because you put the effort and time in to see it, to believe it, and then implement it. If you're not doing that, you're not gonna get anywhere. So the whole point in this video and I can, get, I can imagine some of you are fuming. Some of you have probably already clicked off. Some of you have probably headed to the comments and you're probably absolutely slating me. And I don't know what, I don't care. Because you need to hear it. And sometimes the things that we have to hear, we don't want to hear. But if you're out there and if you are a person that is searching for source, you are going video to video, community to community, strategy to strategy, whatever it is, right? You are not going to get anywhere if you keep doing that. You need to just settle and look at the other things that are holding you back. Is it you? Nine times out of 10, it's you. It ain't someone else's strategy. It ain't the markets hate you, it's you. You're not putting the effort in. You think you are, but you're not. And you need a reality check. And that's why things like podcasts, reading, self-development, growth mindset, education, they're so important for us because we need to continue to learn to develop as a person. I've come on such a long way in a year, I'm nowhere near where I want to be finished article at all. But it doesn't mean I'm going to not pick up a book or I'm going to watch a podcast because I've completed it. I've got big goals for next year. I've hit some incredible goals this year, but I've got massive ones for next year. Now, it's not that classic, I'm just going to chase goals because I don't want nothing to do. It's just I implemented my goals in a, set, in a way where it was like, right, I have these, and I've got these really big goals, and I've got these big, big goals, and I want to slowly try and hit them. But I'm happy and I'm content now. And the thing is, right, if you're not happy now, regardless, you're not going to be happy when you get those things. Honestly, you won't be. Because I remember I had I did it. I always blamed it on not having enough money or not having this or not having that. And then you get those things and you're like, 
Huh. Uh, I smiled for a minute, but I'm I'm feeling like I'm not that happy. What's going on? And it's because happiness is within you. It's not somewhere else. It's not in a trade. You should be completely detached from a trade. If you put a trade on and it hits TP and you're jumping up and down, that's bad. Because it means you, you're, you're putting a motion to trade in straight away. If you take a stop loss and you smash your computer up, hit the wall, or have the hump all day, that's bad. Because you're putting a motion. So your brain starts to go, oh, when this happens, we need to be we need to be sad. And when this happens, we need to be happy. So then you just create a habit. And then you'll follow that all the time. You need to detach yourself. You take the risk, lose the chance. Put the trade on. Whatever happens, be at peace with it. You've made a decision in the moment with all the information in front of you to put on a trade. Be at peace with what happens. It's a game of probabilities. And that's why it's so important that you follow probabilities and the same edge. If every single time you change something, you're not going to be following those probabilities. And it goes back to that coin flip video I did. So yeah, I hope that some of you stayed to watch this. Some of you probably didn't. Whatevs. Maybe you'll come back to it. But understand the reason behind this video. Because it's very easy for me to just make a video, put this is source, and you lot all click it. You've probably fast forwarded to this part, and if you've noticed, and you're probably going through the YouTube little the little tab, and you're moving it, you're like, his chart's not moving, what's going on? It's because I'm just waffling, bro. I'm not giving out anything. This is as much as you get. There's enough in the previous stuff right now for you to understand how we trade, okay? Can't just keep throwing it at you because you're gonna think there's new source all the time. The source is there, I've shown it. Go back and look at the last videos. It's the same thing, whatever it is on the higher time frame, it's the same on the lower time frame. Markets are fractal, it's always the same. It's about putting the effort in, it's about putting the data in. So before anyone jumps up in the comments, just let everyone watch this video, right? I wanna see people's reaction, I wanna, and I wanna get the hard data on if I clickbait a title, this is what happens. If I don't, this is what happens. Because then I can go, well, that's just what's wrong with society, is everyone's looking at the wrong things. So why? If one person takes from this video, I'm happy, man. I don't, I couldn't care less. If no one takes from the video, whatever. I just wasted an hour of my life. We'll see what happens. But anyway, on that note, I hope you all have an incredible weekend. I hope you have an incredible week. Obviously, Christmas week. Um, if you are trading, sweet. If the, pro if the op opportunity's there, take it. Don't force anything. Obviously, it's been a massive year. There's been loads of opportunities. There'll be loads more next year. Um, if you're winding down, just do some reflection. I reflected last week on like the whole year, like you know, just a progression. Um, looked at some of my markups from like early on in the year to now. Some of my trades from then to now. Seeing the progression. Um, looking at what I need to improve on. Looking at what I need to work on. And yeah, I'm going to take a few days off, like properly for like Christmas and whatnot. Um, and then come back ready to absolutely smash some grannies. So yeah, I hope you have an incredible rest of your day.